he's he's obviously just testing things make sure that this engine's running right wants to get as much heat into these tires and we talked earlier and so did luke james about the 90 of ryan urban ryan is going to want to use his undoubtedly good skills at racing fast on cold tires early in this final he's going to want to try and get the field what he doesn't want to do is get into a race with the number five of Yardley. And Yardley's been fast all day long. He's improved every race. He started with a fifth, a fourth, a second in the pre-final. There's only one place to go from there for the number five of Yardley, and that's to P1. So they will tighten up this formation now as they come down to face the start. This is it, race fans. The first final of day three of the Sevrite Blasting Panel and Paint 2017 National Card Sport Championship. Urban, Yardley, Sinclair, Waddell, Blair, Chittenden, a former British champion, Bond Roby, Kinsman. Then it's Bray, lights out. Great start, Ryan Urban, down the inside. Makes the start. Oh, Yardley up on the grass. Oh, he's dropped right to the back. And so too is Bray on the grass. Bray's going to have to go to the short track. He goes across the grass. He's going to let the field go through. He's not going to lose too much, but he certainly hasn't gained anything at all. Sinclair up to second place. This is absolutely perfect now for Ryan Urban. Urban stretching away in front. Sinclair, Waddell, Bond Roby in the top four for the first time today. Chittenden's fifth. Blair in six. Here comes Kinsman. Matt Kinsman up in the inside now at sixth place, the six time national champion. Well, Bray has got a lot of work, but he's got a lot of laps as well. We're going to wait and see what the pace is of this rebuilt 62. Ryan Herbin, national champion yesterday, really worked hard for that title. And Kinsman working over the number nine of Chittenden. Lines are up on the final turn. Looks to come down the inside. Makes the pass deep under, breaks into turn number one. Kinsman now, th oh, Bray's down the chute. Daniel Bray, his championship is over. The Burrell Art NZGP Motorsport star will not win a fifth title here today. Bitterly disappointed. Yardley still at the back. Got forced out on that first corner. Dives down up the inside now, makes a pass into the top eight. Ryan Urban in front, Sinclair, Waddell, Roby, Kinsman. Kinsman lining up Roby. Deep under breaks again, deja vu from a lap before when he made the pass on Chittenden. Now Kinsman's up into the top four. Well, Kinsman will be looking up the racetrack and he'll see how far up Ryan Urban is. As they run through those infield turns down into Macaulay Ford. Waddell is having a good race here in third, but I just don't think he'll have the pace to contain a six-time national champion like Matt Kinsman. Across the strike with 22 to go. Kinsman again down the inside, moves in for third. Charging forward, Matt Kinsman. Running on a spare motor. DD2 National Championship, the first ever national championship. Brought to you by Wright Carts. Now we will see what the pace is of the 30 car. The Mount Wellington driver. International car supplies, IKS race engine, Sodi chassis. It's about three quarters of the length of the main straight. And look at Sinclair. I think Sinclair is now starting to reel in urban. Sinclair will know, he will have had a look and he will know that Kinsman has moved to third. He has another look then and that'll just fire up Sinclair. Sinclair will want to go. He'll at least want to stay with Urban. Getting tight further back. We have a look at those minor places. Still Bon Roby having a good race there. Just in behind Yardley who's recovering. Yardley, remember, dropped to the very rear. He finds himself back up into the top five. Top three places, not out of uh, contention for sure for Yardley still. A lot of laps, there's 20 to go. 20 and a half, in fact, showing 20 on the board. Sinclair, maybe a second away from the 90 of Urban. But a second might as well be a kilometre sometimes. Kinsman will have a look at the gap down the main straight. Does look like he's hauled them in a little bit. 
Oh, he is definitely real, Demon. Who's getting the flag? Was that the 17 of Bon Roby? Not 100% sure. Thirty-two point three was the lap time for Matt Kinsman, taking two tenths out of the race leaders. So that means it's thirty-two fives out front, and you can see that this gap has decreased. It's decreased considerably now. Eighteen to go. Well, that's the thirty card of Kinsman getting a black and white. I'm really not sure what that would be about. Made clean passes. Doesn't look to me like he's using a lot of curb right now. But he is closing up on the race lead. Urban in front, Sinclair's keeping him honest. You saw Urban have a look around then. Sometimes when Urban's dominating, he doesn't look around at all. You know when he's a little bit concerned? When he starts turning his head. Waddell's still in fourth, Yardley is closing up. Yardley's still pushing hard. We know Yardley was fast this morning. Runner up in the pre-final, be gutted to go to the rear of the field so early in this final. And here comes Kinsman. This is what it's all about, the race and chase for the IKS star. A six-time national champion chasing a ten-time national champion. 16 to go. We're only ten laps into it. Now we see the black and whites are coming out again. Well, again, I think that was for Kinsman. Three tenths was the advantage that time for Kinsman. 32 0. 33 threes for Urban. So Urban is up his uh, pace in front, but so too is Matt Kinsman. And he is right on Sinclair. Sinclair now under pressure from Kinsman. And just up the racetrack is Ryan Urban. Urban hasn't got away as far as he would have liked. And there will be a mammoth 15 laps to go next time up. I don't think Sinclair is going to be able to, to defend down into one. He'll want to try and stay in contention with Urban as well. I don't think it would be a good idea to go too defensive. And there you see Sinclair give the little signal. He doesn't want to defend. He wants to try and run with Kinsman. That's a smart move fight by Sinclair. He knows that he's got good pace and he can perhaps still stay in the draft of Kinsman and that will haul them both up to the 90 card of Ryan Urban. Smart move by Sinclair. Using his head here, mid-race in, in this final. Yardley fourth. We've got to wait and see if Yardley can close up and make it a four-way battle for the title. 13 to go. We are half-race distance. Ryan Urban kicking on, looking for an 11th national championship. Races out of the Rotorua Club, the Urban Performance Praga Gridley Cart Supplies driver. Kinsman is closing in on him. Sinclair can't match the pace, he's about a tenth off. Well, we know the controversy in that pre-final for two of the big guns. We know the work was done in the sheds, in the uh, tent areas, and the workshops in between pre-final and final. And with 12 to go, it looks like that work might be paying off for the 30 card of Kinsman. As uh, Matt now starts to go deep into Southern Paints, you can see him working the racetrack, just staying out of the back wheels of Ryan Urban. And Urban is the one who's now going a little bit defensive. He went right down through that oil area where the sand was laid there earlier on by that man that's chasing him in second place. 11 to go. Urban defensive up inside and one. Kinsman all over him. Sinclair's come back into it. Again, you can see Kinsman looking for different lines on the track. You can use different lines here, but I don't know if you can use them against Urban. He's another one of these drivers that bought some of those magic 10-foot wide axles that Matt Hamilton sells. You have a look this time. Here comes Kinsman. Wow, that was fast. He threw it down the inside, went deep into turn, the final turn. And here comes Urban straight back. 
We have got a fight on our hands in the first of the finals for DD2 right Karts. This is history at stake. It's not just a title. It's about being remembered for posterity as the first ever DD2 New Zealand champion. And these three drivers all have a slice of it. And look at Yardley coming on strong. Waddell's fast again. Still, it is Urban down the inside who holds the lead there at Macaulay Ford. Kinsman's got to do it again, and he will come again this time. And he checks it up. New race leader, Matt Kinsman. Here comes Sinclair to the outside. Ryan Urban's got to be careful he doesn't drop back to third. Yardley, who would have thought Yardley from the back of the field would drive his way back up into contention? And he most certainly has. But they've got to hope that Kinsman doesn't get away out in front. And he's already opened up perhaps maybe four or five cart lengths. CJ Sinclair has to get by Urban. We don't know what true pace Sinclair has got at the moment. I think they're all about a tenth off, though, what Kinsman's got. And Kinsman will see up on the board that there is only eight laps to go. We're over a third of the race distance from the back to the front for Matt Kinsman, the IKS star. Here comes Yardley. That podium I said to you about six, seven laps ago, that podium was still on for Yardley. And now he's putting pressure on the bumper of 11 Sinclair. And Sinclair knows that he just realised that if he didn't know before, because he just looked back and would have got a whole lot of number five number plate there. Yardley looks back too, but Waddell is a little way further back. It's a great drive for Waddell in the Cosmic. Seven to go. Sinclair defensive down the inside. This could help out Ryan Urban. Yardley all over the back of Sinclair. Little bit of a hello, I'm still here as they went into Southern Paints. Here comes Waddell. Oh, Kinsman got a little bit sideways there off that turn. Hopefully there's not an issue again for the 30 cart. It was a little bit of an uncharacteristic slide mid-corner at Macaulay Ford. Six to go. Look at how they're diving down into turn one. Yardley desperately trying to get by and Waddell is there as well Urban has been able to get away in second place this is what I thought might happen maybe the fight is for third on the podium the top six will get to step up there Chittenden's the best of them there in sixth place in front of Roby and then the ten of uh, James Blair but with five to go Kinsman heading away Urban second, Sinclair third Yardley now down the inside Yardley has he got it Oh, it's going to get tight down into turn number one. Keep an eye on Waddell in the 81. Waddell looks to the outside. Now goes to the outside on the other side of the racetrack. Sinclair's going to close the door. Wow, this is fantastic DD2 racing. Right, Karts, you've picked the, the correct class here to sponsor at this national championship. Of course, promoting it through the Rotax Challenge. Four to go for Kinsman. Is a seventh national crown beckoning. Urban in second. Ryan Yardley third. Oh, Yardley's gone too deep. Sinclair's back for third. Yardley back to fourth. He made a mistake and Waddell tried to exploit it as well. Well, Kinsman's running away. Urban perhaps consigned to his fate now, resigned to his fate, knowing that second place is the best he's going to do today in this championship. Three laps to go. A final, a championship at stake. Fantastic duking it out for that third place. Well, anything can happen in these last three laps. You almost couldn't discount Tiffany out of it, could you, in case something major happened to third, fourth, and fifth. And the way they're fighting it out on the racetrack, they could. Sinclair has another look. Goes defensive down into Macaulay Ford. When you do that, you've got to run deep, but he's able to hold it tight as he breaks tracks up on Yardley. Two to go. Urban in second place. Sinclair goes defensive. Yardley has to go down the inside with them. That's going to slow them up, and here comes Waddell. Waddell sneaks through. Yardley gives him a bit of a hurry up as, as uh, Waddell was slow off the turn there at turn two. They don't want to let Sinclair get away or else it'll be all over. The last lap board's going to come out. One lap to go for Matt Kinsman to make New Zealand kart sport history. Urban in second. Third place is Sinclair with Dell in fourth. Yardley's going to go the high line round through turn one. So too is the 81.
A little bit of contact there at turn one. These drivers are desperate for it. I think they might have just sorted themselves out for that top three. But what a star this man is. He conceded a title yesterday to his brother. He has come back to take history, ladies and gentlemen. A seventh national title and a first in DD2 for Matt Kinsman. Urban second, third place on the step of the podium will go to CJ Sinclair. Well, a fantastic way to crack out a final on day three of the Sevrite Blasting Panel and Paint. Richard Moore, that was certainly an exciting race for that third step on the podium. Mate, what a, what a thoroughly enjoyable race to watch. Fantastic drive, Matthew Kinsman. Unbelievable. Uh, Ryan Irvin, I thought for a moment there I had uh, visions of the ex-Rotex Max Challenge grand final winner taking away uh, the first ever DD2 title, which would have been very fitting, but uh, not to be Mr. Kinsman uh, taking away the spoils from the back of the grid. Unbelievable. A little bit disappointing that um, Mr. Bray couldn't continue, uh, but nonetheless, still some fantastic racing. And I'll just add as well that the gap uh, from uh, back through the field, you see uh, Tiffany Chittenden almost getting onto the back of that group for third. And even the carts behind her, James Blair and, uh, and the rest of the crew, all very, very close at the end. So it shows how competitive the whole class was. Yeah, certainly did. Look, hey, uh, I'm just talking through to the PA as well. We just uh, had word from Cartsport officials that uh, they advised me to put the podium presentation on hold due to the amount of black and whites. Uh, hopefully that doesn't change our top three podium. So I'm not going to do a, a presentation. We'll wait till that is sorted out. And I certainly hope that it doesn't change things.